Hey, this is Brett, and today I want to walk through a migration that I'm going to be doing, moving a site from Learn Press over here to Learn Dash. So I've got a, a site I've been working on with a partner of mine. Uh, she is a massage uh, therapist and is providing some training for some new techniques in a, a, a seven-part course or seven courses covering several, several different parts of the body. And what we have here uh, right now is something that's running Learn Press, not to be confused with Learn Dash. And we started with Learn Press because it's a free system. It's a freemium. You can uh, try the system and you can add on paid portions uh, of other modules and things, add-ons to the learning management system for Learn Press. But along the way, I've, I've, I've continually found a couple different things here that just were uh, tedious to work with. And so we're going to move to Learn Dash to avoid some of that tedium. I wanted to point out some of the things just a little bit. Uh, for one thing, uh, when we're looking at a particular course, if you try to uh, look at a course, right now I'm running the site, it's running the Divi theme, which has the built-in Divi Builder. I use that on a lot of different sites these days for many good reasons. Um, it is possible to use LearnPress with a builder, but it doesn't always play nice behind the scenes. And when you first install LearnPress, the default version of it comes with a theme that overrides your theme. And it does that so that you can sort of see where you are in a different course. But you'll notice the formatting of that gets a little wonky. We've got some text up here in the top left corner that's overriding itself. It does that in a couple other areas as well. And it just generally doesn't uh, provide for the environment that we want. We don't have a lot of control over how this looks either. So we're moving to Learn Dash. And so uh, Learn Dash is a system that costs a little bit of money. And I'm going to point out that uh, we're going to, I'm going to, uh, as the developer, I'm purchasing uh, the license in this case. I'm going to purchase it for my partner's site for uh, a single site license, but they do allow you to upgrade. So you can move from one license up to the next. I have uh, two other clients. Uh, one client that's definitely interested in adding this sometime soon, and another that might be as well before the month's out. And so I can envision moving to the Plus package at some point in the near future as well and reducing that licensing cost. Uh, I do expect to uh, switch to the Pro package eventually as well. And each of these packages, uh, you get to use the system uh, indefinitely, but uh, the support and updates are only good for a year, so you have to renew after that uh, for the next year. Uh, after that, you'd have to renew, and the cost for renewal is about 50% uh, of the listed price here. And I believe that list price would be the 159, 189, and 329, not the slightly uh, discounted $30 off version that they're offering uh, today with a special coupon code. So I'm going to sign up for the first package or the first level of plan at $159 and they, if there's a coupon uh, code available, they remind you that right on the page. They don't want you necessarily um, uh, spinning your wheels looking through Google to find a discount that's already there. They're trying to make this easy. So I'm gonna put in my information and then resume what I'm, uh, this particular video. Okay, so I've made my purchase and I now have the ability to download uh, the Learn Dash Learning Management System. Uh, so I'm going to pull that into my computer. There's also a Read Me First document that I'm going to download. And I would like to point out too, uh, I've just made this purchase, but I uh, had three or four different exchanges with the Learn Dash team uh, getting some pre sales questions answered, such as can I upgrade it? And they gave me some awesome tips on some plugins to use to transfer the information from my LearnPress uh, custom post types. LearnPress creates its own custom post type uh, and they provided me some information on how to transfer that from that custom post type into LearnDash using some plugins to make that transfer uh, simple and easy. Uh, they gave me some other information as well. I don't remember that third question, uh, but that's what I know. And so now we're going to get this uh, set up and start uploading the system into our website along with those plugins to help migrate everything from LearnPress into LearnDash. Okay, so we're going to upload the plugin. Now, you may recall we downloaded a file from LearnDash. So we're going to uh, pick that up from our downloads uh, file. So zip down here to downloads. 
And uh, I've unzipped it to take a look at the files, but what we want is the zipped file that came here. They sent us a start here PDF as well. Um, and that basically sends us to their website for the actual tutorials and the start guide of their website. And uh, that's what I'm looking at here, the getting started part of it initially. Uh, I'll point out there are screenshots along the way, uh, but they only give you the text. So if you want to screenshot it, send you off into another screen. They don't embed the, the items there. But in the meantime, we're uploading this plugin to our, uh, to our website where we already had LearnPress running. And that's cool. So we're going to activate it. Activating Learn Dash, that is. Uh, I'm going to separately add the plugins to help migrate content over here, and I've got a different plugin that's got uh, some stuff running. So as I scroll over here, I need to look for the Learn Dash settings, or the place where I can uh, input my license for Learn Dash. And at first glimpse, and you're you're seeing my own reactions first time around. Uh, We've got a little bit of overlap. So I'm going to have to go back to uh, my guide and see if I can figure out where to activate the plugin after it's complete. Re go to the license. So Learn Dash LMS settings LMS license. So I'm missing something. I might just simply need to refresh uh, my. WordPress screen, sometimes you add a new plugin and it doesn't show up in the menu on the left hand side right away. So I'm just going to uh, click on the dashboard one more time, refresh my dashboard. And there we are. Now we have Learn Dash. So if you were missing uh, the Learn Dash settings, just refresh that dashboard after you add the plugin. And I'm going to come in here to settings and add my LMS license in the tab here. And put in my key and I'm not going to record this. You need to get your own license. Okay, now I'd previously mentioned that Learn Dash gave me some great pre-sales help. I was trying to figure out how I could migrate some content from Learn Press over to Learn Dash if I made the switch. And they recommended a couple different plugins uh, that I might try. And it looks like they've copied and pasted this reply from someone that probably had a similar question about Sensei. Uh, another learning management system that gets pretty good reviews, and I've seen some demos for it that were pretty strong, although uh, my impression, my personal imp impression, is that maybe it hasn't developed quite as much uh, since I saw those initial things a couple years back. I think it's probably very uh, a very good system as well, but it, it was one that I uh, actually chose LearnDash over Sensei. And so they have a post type switcher plugin that they're recommending. This doesn't uh, isn't something that's created by LearnDash itself. It's somebody's uh, a free plugin, you could probably use it for other things. And there's a bulk one as well for convert post types. And in my case, I think I'm probably going to try the post type switcher and go through uh, this uh, one item at a time is uh, what I think I'm going to try first. I may end up trying both of them eventually. So I want the post type switcher. So I'm going to come back over into my installation. I'm going to add uh, a new plugin. And since this is in the WordPress repository, it's a free thing post type switcher. I'm just going to search through the repository to see if I can find that. I could maybe just go straight to the link. And uh, here it is. There's post type switcher. And I want to, the other one is convert post types. Uh, post type switcher has uh, was updated nine months ago and been used by about 70,000 people. That's pretty good. I just want to get a sense of convert post types too. I have not used either of these before. I'm going off of the recommendations here uh, from Learn Dash. And this one has uh, uh, actually convert post types. I'm not seeing it come up in the search results, so I might need to let's check and see if that one still exists. Click on the direct link. Uh, this one hasn't been updated in over two years, so this one's actually three years ago uh, was the last time it was done. So I'm definitely going to go with the one that doesn't do bulk. If you want to try the bulk one on your own. You're more than welcome to give that a shot. Uh, I uh, don't feel like uh, testing an old plugin myself. So I'm going to install Post Type Switcher onto this site. By the way, as I'm doing this, I should mention we are not serving up live classes yet. Uh, this is all in preparation for the launch of the first course. So there's we don't have students running on this. This is, uh, this is a live website, but in all uh, uh, important ways, this is a 
test site preparing to launch. It's in a very, very soft launch alpha kind of stage with a number of different things going on. So I've got that plugin activated and separately I'll go through the process of, of moving these post types over.